Hello and welcome to the training of kernel modules in Red Hat 6 or CentOS 6. So the first initial thing is which we have to understand is we have to know which operating system which we are working on. To get that information let's cat etc issue and we get that information from etc issue. We can also cat etc red hat release which also gives us the information. The next thing which we are looking looking at is the kernel modules. So we want to know which kernel we are using. So we can get that information with the help of uname-r and when we type uname r, it gives us the complete kernel information. What kernel we are running on. So there is 2.6.2.6.32-71. So what are these things? So we have that information updated here. So 2 is the major version of that particular kernel. Dot six is the minor version. Thirty-two is the patch version, which keeps on updating for us. Dash seventy-one is the build for that particular patch and other things. And we have EL six is Enterprise Linux six. And last we have dot I six eight six is the thirty-two bit architecture which we are working on. So that gives us that information. So let's minimize this and go back to our command prompt. Now understand let's suppose we have to know what are the kernel modules which are there. So can get into a directory that's lib modules and the kernel version and then we will go ahead and type kernel hit enter so now we type ls and we see these are the modules which is being loaded for our kernel let's suppose I'm interested to know what drivers the video drivers have been loaded to my machine. We can definitely get that information. So we have a command called as lsmod. We pipe to less to see. lsmod is listing the modules, kernel modules. The left pane we have the modules which are there. The memory which this particular specific module has been utilized and how many processes have been utilized and also if there is any other process which has also been using this particular module will also be displayed for us. So we have different modules here which has been loaded and here we have different modules which you can see here. So let's suppose I want to know what is sound core. I can also get that by mod info command. I'll type sound core and hit enter. So it gives us the information this is related to the sound card which is built on my machine and if you see here it's licensed to GPL and the core sound module service version what in case if I want to see the driver so I'm presently using a virtual environment so I have not loaded any drivers so still I want to see what are the 
drivers which has been utilized so when I type mod info video we can see it has ACPI video driver this is a default driver a Linux video driver which is being loaded to our machine and you can also see where exactly is these modules loaded if you see here it shows up it's there under lib modules and the kernel version and kernel drivers ACPI video so this is the default drivers what in case if you have a specific driver where should it be loaded it should be there under lib modules and the kernel version and kernel and we have video okay we'll just get into this type ls okay We'll get into drivers I'm sorry it's drivers video if we had a specific driver it should have been loaded through this particular driver directory since it doesn't have a specific driver so it is being utilized from a generic driver so it is loading it from the ACPI so it's picking up this particular on a generic driver from this particular ACPI directory so this is how we just get the information about the kernel modules which are there Let's suppose if we have to remove a driver and we have to reload a driver. So now many of the Linux machines previously had video driver conflicts or even today also we have many machines which doesn't load the video drivers properly. So where do we go? how do we remove this so we can also use mod probe is one of the command which we use dash r to remove dash v for the verbose and I want to remove the video driver So if I call the echo status and check, was it performed? Yes. So this is how we load it. We remove the driver, which is a default driver, which has been used. Check suppose if you don't want that particular driver. So how do we load it back once again? So we can use the same command. So once you reboot, you can see the effect which the operating system will remove the default driver which is being loaded but since we are interested we are not interested right now to reboot the machine so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and run mod probe and we'll just run video so we let's echo the exit status it's zero and this confirms that it's been loaded up loaded back so it picks up the default driver we can still get information with the help of mod info and video to check yes so it has taken the normal video drivers so this is how you remove a driver which is there you add a driver and you see the information about the modules which are there 
on your machine. Thank you for viewing, have a great day ahead.